Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. So recently my husband and I went to Germany for almost two weeks. If you guys wanna check that content, I will post it down below. But there are a ton of videos and it kinda of gives you like a day in a life of somebody in Germany, plus a little bit of touristy stuff. But we were visiting his family out there and that's when it dawned on me that I have never done a video like this. I've never done my Amazon haul favorites, put them all in one spot for a long haul flight. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. We are gonna be covering all of these stuff that I deem a travel must have an essential item when I am flying a long haul flight as a passenger. Hopefully you guys learned a lot, take some tips and tricks away from your flight attendant friend. But before we dive into that, I do have one more very important tip. And if you like to save money when traveling, this is the one for you. So I want to go ahead and thank Hopper for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have never heard of Hopper before, I will be completely shocked. They have really shaken up the travel industry and made a mark on it. But if you guys haven't, Hopper is a completely free app that allows you to secure the cheapest prices for flights, hotels, and car rental partners. So one really fun and amazing thing that Hopper does is they have a color-coded deals calendar. So this allows you to visually see exactly what days are going to save you the most money so you can find the cheapest travel day for your trip. So if you see a day in green, green means go for it. This is going to be one of the cheapest days for you to travel. So another amazing feature about Hopper is actually their watch a trip and get notified. So this allows you to select specific days. So let's say that you've got like a travel window that you really want to travel in between that time. Well, Hopper will use their price predictions and actually monitor 24 seven the prices in those days for you to fly on your trip. So this will actually notify you if now is the time to wait or if now is the time to buy. And when it is, it will give you a notification so that way you can lock in the best price for your trip. And here is the icing on the cake, which yes, icing on the cake is the best part of the cake, is Hopper is actually doing a four for sale. So this is going to be a massive sale that they're gonna be doing from April 4th to April 7th. So you want to mark your calendars and do not miss this because Hopper is actually gonna be slashing the prices off their hotels and their flight prices to over 44 destinations. So you can actually save over $444 on destinations like Orlando, Miami, Hawaii, and so many more. And new deals will be released daily, so you want to make sure that you are regularly checking back so you do not miss out on any of these amazing limited time offers. And these deals will be exclusively offered on Hopper, so you will not find them anywhere else. So now is the perfect time to go ahead and secure the cheapest rates for your upcoming holiday trip or for that surprise weekend getaway that you have been wanting to take. And new users that download the app for free and sign up using my link will get $30 in care cash rewards that you can put towards a flight, hotel, or car rental bookings in the app. Thank you to Hopper for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and deep dive into all of my Amazon favorites that you need for a long haul flight. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to show you, you need to put this together before you go on a long haul flight. And just trust me, you can thank me later, this is so important when you've been flying for hours and hours and hours, you're going to want this, <laughs> I, I guarantee you're gonna want this. I have put together a sample bag of what I would do and what I would fill it with, just so you have some ideas. Now, if you have kids, you might wanna do one of these for them, but it is going to look a little different than mine. Mine is just personal use for me. And that is a refresher bag. Now, in your refresher, your bag the contents of this are so important i will link this specific bag down below they only have a couple on amazon but i will try to find some other amazon favorites that you also might enjoy but the bag itself is not as important as what's in it so here is what i put in mine the only thing that's not in here right now that i would put in here is a toothbrush and toothpaste Make sure you have them because after you've been on a long haul flight, especially if you go to sleep, your breath is gonna be rank and it's just really, really nice to go brush your teeth in the bathroom and just feel refreshed before you land somewhere. So next is deodorant. You guys, make sure you have some deodorant. This is so nice feeling just to scrub under there and really refresh up. The other thing is sunscreen. I have slammed this down your throat and I will till the end of time when you are traveling, you need to be wearing sunscreen. Make sure you are wearing sunscreen and bring it along with you in case you need to freshen it up on a long haul flight. Another thing is hand lotion. So inside planes are very, 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 very drying. It's very drying. So make sure you bring hand lotion for your hands if they're gonna be cracking or anything like that. Another thing around these same guidelines is chapstick for the same reason is it's very drying in planes and your lips can chap. If you really wanna go the extra mile, you can bring some moisturizer. I really don't. I feel like once I get there, I will moisturize, but these are very 
important things that I will bring along with me whenever I'm flying and make sure you drink your water. Drink lots of water when you are flying because you will lose lots of water. Another thing I like to bring with me is a little freshener up. Ladies, we love these. Just grab an on-go one. I keep these in my house. I'll bring them on my trips and stuff, especially with pantyhose. I know TMI, but let's just, let's call it what it is. Just bring like a little refresher wipe with you. It'll come in handy and you can thank me later. Another thing I like is hand sanitizer. Even bringing a sanitizer wipe to like wipe down your seat is amazing. The tray table, all that, you're gonna be eating on it. So it's just nice to like wipe down your little section. I also bring some travel perfume. Now I do have travel perfume bottles specifically. Like let's say you got a big old bottle of perfume, you're not getting through TSA with it and you just wanna use the little travel bottles and you just pump them. I've shown them to you many times. I will link those down below. But I also like to go to Sephora and just get some travel perfume just like this. So this one is the Dolce & Gabbana light blue and you can tell like I have used and abused this thing. It is almost empty, but I love to pop one of these in here as well. It's another thing just to freshen up along your deodorant and toothpaste. And then last but not least, I bring a scrunchie. Now these particular scrunchies have the hidden pocket, which I love. It also matches the scrunchie and they're super, super soft. So if you want to throw your hair up and like, let's say you want to freshen up your face, so you want to just do whatever maybe you're tired of your hair down these are great and then also you can just like wear them especially on your trip let's say you have some money you want to throw in there or maybe you want to put your little your little chapstick we'll go ahead and throw the chapstick in here just so y'all can y'all can see it so we'll take our chapstick and throw the little chapstick in there or whatever these are great when you're traveling so i do like to just like bring one with me just in case so that's what i bring in my refresher bag is basically my necessities of what i deem to refresh myself and again if you have kids you might want to do one of these for them like with their toothbrush their toothpaste or whatever you think they need so next is my bose headphones now i will be the first to admit this is like kind of a, i mean it's the size of my head it's, it's a large task to bring these especially when you have many other things to pack but there's a few reasons why i do love this the first being is the fact that they are noise canceling so I don't hear any weird airplane noises, which we all know there is a ton of them. I don't hear the galleys flushing. I don't hear any screaming babies. I don't hear the couple in the back that are arguing who just don't travel well together. I don't hear none of that with them. So I love that. It also comes with a cord, so you can plug it into the TVs that you are doing, but it also has a Bluetooth feature. Now, Bluetooth does not work on airplane TVs if the airplane has TVs. So here's that catch 22 that I'm gonna be telling you. Most, most of the time when you are traveling internationally, the airplane will have TVs but it doesn't always. So I like the fact that these can be Bluetooth so I can listen to like my phone or like listen to my audiobook or anything with these, but also they do have the cord that I can plug in and then I can watch my movie with. But if you have a phone like this, and you don't have a Bluetooth option or like maybe your iPad or whatever looks like this little one, make sure you have headphones or like some kind of converter for whatever headphones you're bringing. Like if you don't wanna spend so much money, they are a little bit pricey, they are a little bit big, they are worth it. But if you don't wanna spend so much money or so much space packing, just make sure you bring headphones that can match this if you have this and also just the normal port that will work on the TV. That is a huge tip. Bring something that will work for both because also you might have a TV but your TV might not work and that that's just going to suck and you don't want to like fly like I don't know a 12 hour flight and you, you don't have a TV or anything to entertain yourself with which brings me into my next thing so I also like to bring a book. Eventually, like after like seven hours, there's not a single movie on that screen I wanna watch anymore, plus I'm bored with movies. So I like to bring another form of entertainment. Now, if you are going to bring like a hardback or like like paperback or whatever you're gonna bring, make sure it is small in size, otherwise it's going to be tremendously annoying to be carrying around that through like customs and the airport and all that stuff. So try to bring something light if that's what you want. Otherwise, what I personally love to do is I have Audible. I love to get audiobooks on there. I also have like the books that are just kind of like the Kindle books. I have the books that are on like my, my iBooks or whatever thing I'm using, the books you read. So I have the books on there as well. So if you don't want to have to travel with like something extra, go ahead and get one of those apps, get you a book or get you a Kindle or whatever you're going to do. Get you something to read to entertain yourself because eventually those movies are going to get old really fast, especially when you have to watch them going out and you got to watch them coming back. Eventually Eventually, you're just not gonna watch, wanna watch any more of that. So find stuff to entertain yourself. Also, if you have kids, maybe like some coloring books, you're not gonna wanna bring a bunch of crayons markers because if they drop on the floor, you're gonna have a really hard time getting them, but you get it. I mean, just, just bring something for entertainment other than the TV, because I promise you, those movies are gonna get old. Promise you, they're gonna get old. 
So this next item I feel like is so important when you're traveling, I highly recommend you get it. You can even put it in your little refresher bag because it's small enough to fit, but it comes on every single flight attendant trip with me. It comes when I'm traveling, especially even if you're out like exploring a city, I think it's important to probably have it with you. And that is like a little first aid kit. Now this one is Welly and I did get it on Amazon. It comes in a two pack, I believe, or at least I bought two of them. So I, either they came together or I just bought two and they are so important. I've definitely blown through a whole one and inside it comes with, oh, okay, well this one's already, <laughs> This has clearly already been used by me, but inside it comes with band-aids and other stuff that you might be using. So this is hand sanitizer. Oh, there's your hand sanitizer. What is this? This is triple antibiotic ointment and also band-aids. Now, obviously flight attendants do have, what are these? Oh, more, more ointment and hand sanitizers. And then of course, like there are far more band-aids. I'm telling you guys, like I use this. And again, it can just go ahead and fit in here if you've got space for it. Now flight attendants do have first aid kits on board. They are all throughout the plane. So if you are having a real emergency, make sure you tell them they are prepared to handle that. But if it's just something small, like a minor, or like maybe I got a blister on the back of my foot, that's no reason to pop open it for a whole first aid kit thing. And then they have to write a report and all that. So I do like to just carry those around in case it's like something like minuscule that I could just handle myself. But if you're having a real emergency, let your flight attendants know. All right, so on to the next thing. I like to bring snacks. Now this is just like an energy bar. A lot of times I'll bring like a protein bar or something like that. You can go through TSA with food, but your food needs to follow the liquid rules. An exception to this would be like breast milk. Like let's say that you are breastfeeding. It will just go through extra security screening, but you can bring that along. Otherwise just like bring some dry snacks with you, whether that's like a can of Pringles, some, some protein bars, whatever you're looking for. There's plenty of food on planes. There is a snack service in the front and the back that you can just like walk back there and grab snacks in case you didn't know that. And if you're in the front, like in the first class, there's usually a walk-up bar that you can go grab like snacks throughout the flight. But let's say that you just did not like your flight attendant meal because you just did not have cat up in your galley cooking your <laughs> cooking your stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Most of the flight attendants just heat the food up. But let's say what, for whatever reason, you didn't like the meal, you didn't like what they're serving. It's just nice to have a couple extra snacks with you. Now, moving on to other things. When you are traveling, I think it is super important to bring a power port with you. This is so, 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 so important. Bring one with you, especially if your phone dies. Or like I said, the same thing with the TVs can happen with the charging ports, or you might not have a charging port. I think the chance of you not having a charging port on the plane is small, but not none. Not, it's not none. So always try to bring like some kind of power bank or something with you just in case yours doesn't work and the plane is full or for whatever reason, or let's say that you go into the airport and you're lost or whatever you need it. This is a great backup. It's always great to have one of these with you. Now, another must have for me is eye masks. I have two different ones and depending on my mood, depends on what it brings. So this one does have like this little travel case. I think this one had a travel case as well. And there are little, um, there's like a, a little, Velcro, I was gonna say zip. A little like Velcro pouch and it does have like little ear plugs like so you don't wanna hear in them. But this one is cool because it has little iPads that are removable. So if you have like near set or far set eyes, you can like move them. They also have like different attachments you can buy like a cooling one or whatever. And this is great if you have um, false lashes as well because you can just like set them in there and then they don't ruin, which I love. Now this one is a bit different. It also kind of has an eye pocket, but not as intense, but it does have a little one. But this one's cool because it has a Bluetooth music option. So if you are somebody who likes to fall asleep to like a soundtrack, or maybe you wanna fall asleep to your audiobook or whatever you're doing, this one is cool because you can link it up to your phone and listen, and then right on the side, it just kind of like tucks in. There are like the speakers and stuff in there, which is amazing. So depending on what I'm kind of looking for, depends on which one I pack, but I think it's so important to have an eye mask with you. Now, another thing to go along with my eye mask is a neck pillow. Now, this one is my favorite neck pillow out of all the ones I've tried. It is memory foam and it's just so comfortable. When I traveled to Rome a couple years back, I took this um, when I went with my dad and we were both like just alternating using it because it's so comfortable. I just look, <laughs> because it's so comfortable. It's the most comfortable one that I have seen. Now, it also does have a clip on the front if you want to clip it so it has like support so it's not like sliding around. But I just find this one to be the most like luxurious 
luxurious, comfortable sleep pillow to travel with. Now the next item is near and dear to my heart. If you are familiar at all, if you come on my flight attendant trips with me, you have just seen this time and time again. It has been thrown in your face. It comes on every trip with me. Seriously, I don't leave without it. Now it's not completely full right now. And if y'all fly on my trips with me, y'all know like this thing is stacked to the brim full, but I travel with all of my electronics in here all the time. Now, all my camera batteries line up. I usually have a, the little like USC cord that goes to my laptop. Down here I'll have like all of my memory cards. And then also I travel with all my cords. So anything to my flight attendant tablet, to my iPhone, to my Apple watch, to my SSD card for my camera, like all of that comes in here. My camera battery uh, charger comes in here. Like I will have this thing slammed full and I just use gear ties, which I'll link the gear ties down below as well to like fold up all of my cords and keep everything nice and organized. Now these are like little Velcro things so you can adjust and move them around. But I think this is so important when you are traveling. I would always bring this on the plane just because it keeps all my cords in one place nicely organized I know everything's there and also it keeps me like when I'm at a hotel room I will not leave something because I know what this should look like and if something's missing or there's space in here I know what's missing I do like a head count like an inventory <laughs> before I go on my trips so this one is super important get you like a, a case for your chargers now this next thing really hits home it's really really important for me I make sure to always do it when I'm doing a long haul trip it's it's that important planes are cold because people get sick on hot planes so from now until forever planes will stay cold and when you're in the back of the plane you're gonna get this really flimsy blanket that's just not enough when you're in the front of the plane you're gonna get like a nice better like first class type of blanket but still sometimes it's not enough for me I like to really bundle up especially if I'm gonna go to sleep I like to be nice and warm so I will bring a scarf with me instead of a travel blanket because when I'm at a destination I can wear it or I can just like put it on me so I don't have to like worry about packing it or making it fit it's just lovely this one is from lululemon and it's like one of their versatile scarves it has like snaps at the bottom but it gets like huge and I will use this as a travel blanket especially if they don't have travel blankets I will definitely have this with me and use it in combination or just use it on its own another one I love I got this one from Amazon is this cashmere scarf and it is just like so lovely and soft and I absolutely love this one it just melts on your skin be careful it does shed a bit so if you are gonna bring something like this probably use like a linen with you if yours does shed test it out before but you you will sleep like an angel it's just this lovely buttery cashmere scarf and it's so nice also a great present for somebody now another option is a hot water bottle now in the winter time I will always be traveling with this it's just nice to like cuddle it's nice and warm and cozy and it has its own sweater it's really cute the only thing I ask, and this is coming from flight crew, is if you are going to take this, make sure flight attendants are done with service. Make sure they've already done their food service, they've already done their pickup and all of that because flight attendants can be very, very busy in those times. Just wait until it's a little bit more settled in downtime and then go sneak it to the back galley and ask your flight crew really, really nicely if they can fill up your hot water bottle in more times than ever. They will definitely do that for you. Everybody's really nice. Just try not to do it during service because then it, it's there's already too much going on back there. Put it on your back or if you get like aches and pains when you're flying and stuff this is absolutely great okay you guys so that is it if I forgot anything let me know down below but once again everything will be linked in the description box for you guys thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up also press that subscribe button if you want more travel tips and flight attendant life and thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time bye